Hey guys, I have an update for you on the ethanol cooling system. This time I managed to build it out of copper ore. The copper ore aqua tuner has an overheat temperature of 125 and it still managed to keep this running and cool down the simulated base on the left or on the right side. I did try a few different layouts. I tried squeezing the setup in the place that your two tile high rooms normally would take up like this. Sometimes I managed to make them even smaller than that. Remember the right side is only there to simulate cooling your base. This is not needed for the actual setup. So what do you have to do to not use steel in these kind of setups? I used a few different methods and tested them for a few hundred cycles. I did use a grading system from first place to last place with this. First place being the setup that cools down the simulated base the fastest and the furthest down. This one for example is at minus 0.4 degrees celsius. The one to the left only at 2 degrees celsius and the worst setup down here is at 21 degrees celsius. All of these started at 27 degrees celsius, 1000 kilograms of water each tile. I gave them grades from first place to last place and marked them with piping systems. The top two designs have only been tested twice, so 50 cycles each or around that, 30 cycles and 35 cycles and the lower ones have been tested for longer, here at least 150 cycles or 170 cycles. First off, let me clear up a mistake I made in the last video. I clicked on the wrong tile and showed the wrong special heat capacities and so on. This here is an ethanol tile, liquid ethanol, with the properties of a specific heat capacity of 2.46 and thermal conductivity activity of 0.171, whereas the ethanol gas has a specific heat capacity of 2.148 and a thermal conductivity of 0.167. So the difference is not that large, but it is still notable. Because we reduce the heat capacity of the liquid from 2.46 down to 2.1, we are deleting heat in the process. So what methods did I use so we can actually use a copper or thermo aqua tuner instead of a steel one? Let's start with the First design. This was the first round of testing and it came in at 8th place. This on the top hasn't been built at that time. The second round of testing, the second round of testing, this came in in 10th place and the third round of testing also 10th place. But it still managed to work without the thermo aqua tuner burning up. We did achieve that by placing a liquid layer of 200 kg water and 200 kg of salt water here. We still needed to thermo control this so it wouldn't burn up. Up. This is set to below 90, then the thermo aqua tuner stops. Only work if you have below 90 degrees Celsius and the liquid flowing through it actually needs cooling. Then cool down this room. We also managed to achieve a permanent vacuum here with our cooling system. How did I manage to do that? Well. Place down a few wire bridges because wire bridges and any other bridges like gas bridges and liquid bridges like here, the gas bridges, transfer heat from their input to the output or from the output to the input but not to the middle tiles. Meaning we do have a thermo transfer here. Same for the wire bridges. I also included, I also included conduction panels, this one here. They are quite expensive though with 100 kg of refined metal each. So this is neither the cheapest nor the most effective one. It is still least effective one and takes up a lot of resources. It uses only 200 kg of ethanol though. Coming in at the next last places are these two setups. They are identical in a way but the left side is completely gold amalgam and gold and the right side is completely copper ore and copper. What I have to say about this is that the copper ore and the copper side is the better side. Because the gold amalgam only has a thermal conductivity of Two, and the copper ore has a thermal conductivity of 4.5. This makes a huge difference in basically the right side is easier to build without the aqua tuner burning down. The temperature of the simulated bases though 19 degrees in the, in the tiles down here and around 18.4 degrees in the tiles down to the right. So not very good. Of course I also tried it without the airflow tiles. Could you just delete the freaking tiles? Of course I also tried it without the airflow tiles and with less temp shift plates and so on. Still not the best design and we rely on the hydro sensor set to above 40 kilograms, same to the left, for this to not burn down. So in terms of cooling power it is not the most efficient because it is not running as you can see here to the right. Not a very good design. Coming in at the next two places 
are these designs here. Basically the same as down below but with a thicker metal tile area. Gold to the left and copper to the right with a little bit more snaking. And yes the pipes are not fully filled. I was trying something else and forgot to refill them. Those here also rely on the hydro sensor. As you can see better grading they got 7th and 6th place, 4th and 5th place and 7th and 6th place again. The simulated bases are at 12 degrees celsius and 9.8 degrees celsius. The next place isn't so easy to figure out. It is either this one here or the two on top. Since I only tested the two on top for shorter duration, I'm not completely sure which one of these are better. The rankings still are the following. We got 4th, 3rd and 5th place once, no place at all because it wasn't built yet, 2nd place at that time here and 3rd, 4th and 5th place in the last round. Let's check out the lower version first because it is basically the left version without the water and the extra metal tiles but with a huge amount of the ethanol. This year has, let's check this to be exact, this year has 4 tons of ethanol in it and the same setup for the bridges and the metal tiles as well as the copper piping going through it. This is a functioning and good setup, we are at 4 degrees here, but it uses up a lot of materials and a lot of ethanol. You probably don't need to include the thermo sensor, but since I copied the setting from the left, I left it that way. Now we'll show you the top designs in more detail. Let's start with the first and the second place and then go over to the cheapest alternative. The first and the second place in many of the testings the right side was the first, here it was only the third place and in the last testing round this year it was the first place again for the third time in a row and this year it was the second place for the second time. The only difference between these two being the right side are copper pipes and the left side are gold pipes. The right side is at minus 1 degree celsius at the moment and the left side is at plus 1.5 degrees celsius at the moment. In these versions the piping first goes to your base and then through the metal tiles. You can also build it the other way around, which I would prefer in another version. So how are these built and what are the benefits? First off they are smaller than the other versions. They are only 6 times 9 tiles, so 54 tiles in size. They both use exactly 1 ton of ethanol and the rest of the design looks like this. This is the piping, both are mirrored, the sensor is set to minus 4 degrees celsius. There's a double bridge here which is not connected in these areas here. These here are only placed on top of the pipe and have no other function than to transfer the heat quickly. Same goes for the wire bridges as I explained before and same goes for the gas bridges. If you want the red symbol from the gas bridges to disappear, place a tile on the output. The automation for this, the automation for this is just the liquid pipe thermo sensor, no extra sensor needed. And as you can see, if I go to the gas and the liquid overlay, we do have a nice area of vacuum where the gas is condensating and dropping down. And we have this switching system from orange to light blue. But now to the cheapest version. Here you can see both of the cheapest versions that I could come up with. The right side is the more expensive cheap version but also more effective and the left side is the cheapest thing that I could think up in the time that I've given myself. Here on the right side we are using 1 ton of ethanol and on the left side we only use 200 kg of ethanol. On the right side we are at 2.4 degrees celsius and on the left side we are at 6.3 degrees celsius. Here on the right side we are using two temperature plates made from granite behind the arc and a lot of pipes in this setup. Four pipes like this, one pipe like this and one pipe like this. And then we place a gas pipe over each and every green outlet to get rid of the red symbols like this. We do the same thing with the granite tiles on top. We use the granite tiles because they have a higher mass than the metal tiles and because they are cheaper. So to save on some refined copper or refined gold, we are just using granite tiles. Of course that comes at a cost. We only have a thermal conductivity of 3.3 instead of 60, which we do have to compensate with the wire bridges. These are just two wire bridges placed in a style like that. And each wire bridge is pretty cheap at only 25 copper ore. In addition to that, let's see, we do have this kind of piping. Of course this is only symbolic, so you don't have to build it exactly like this. This should only tell you that you first use the output from the aqua tuner to cool your granite tiles in this snake pattern. You will need the copper for this, so you will need 8 tiles of 50 copper using 400 copper in total for this area here. How you cool your base is up to yourself. And the left 
side uses gold. If you use copper on the left side, this will also be more effective. Not only cheap, but a little bit more effective. For the automation, there are no controlling systems except for the liquid pipe thermal sensor, which I set to minus 4 degrees Celsius. We are using polluted water, as always for the testing. Now let's go through the overlays. By the way, here you can see the vacuum effect again. And since we only have one temp shift plate, the liquid here on the left most of the time just stays there. And we get this flickering effect on top. And those are the updated versions of my ethanol cooling system with thermo aqua tuners made from copper ore, which I find pretty amazing. And I find it pretty amazing that the copper ore works better than the gold amalgam. Take a look at the temperature, we are at 102 degrees Celsius. Even though we should prevent reaching the 125, the thermo aqua tuner made out of copper ore is pretty safe. Same here to the right of course, with better values. Whereas those down here needed the expensive copper ore plates or gold amalgam plates or even copper plates and gold plates. The cheap version can handle this without a problem. Still best version are those two here with the highest cooling power. You will need the conduction panels though. And for the temp shift plates on the right I used copper ore and for the temp shift plates on the left I used gold amalgam. But this one is clearly place number one. Why would you ever build one of these? Well, probably you don't have access to crude oil so you can't produce plastic and you don't have a Draco, make a glossy Draco out of it to produce plastic and without any steam turbines, you're left with less options of cooling. Of course, you could use a few Weeswards, but knowing any possible alternatives to cooling can't hurt. So use this if you have access to a rock crusher, a little bit of ethanol and don't have access to plastic. Hope you enjoyed this update, love you guys and Luma out.